Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to overclock a GTX 750 Ti. It's a very easy card to overclock. It doesn't require a lot of knowledge. You just need to be very careful and test it as much as possible. So I managed to get it to a core clock of 200 MHz and a memory clock of 400 MHz higher than the stock speed that I got the card so <clears throat> it's normally like this when you open MSI Afterburner first all you need is MSI Afterburner uh, GTX 150 Ti and a program called Fermark so okay the thing that you might do is upping the this slider from 10 to 20 megahertz each time and you put apply after you apply that all you need to check are the temperatures and test it for some time on the program I told you before called Fermark so if I can find it right here Fermark, I'm going to install it right now you can see what to do, I will leave links to download it in the description below ok, we launch Formark remember, I you have to go by 20 to 10 MHz each time apply it with this button right here and then you go to Formark and do a GPU stress test So. We, I will start the test and as you can see right here it just shows the temperature of the card the max GPU temperature and it will use it at 99% the whole time uh, what, what you are going to look for are artifacts or I mean in this circle that you see on screen you have to find nothing wrong with it it just has to look like this if you see some missing pixels or some s something isn't displayed correctly or the temperatures are too high I suggest you to get the overclock lower if you see some artifacts so graphic problems as you could call them you should lower the, the overclock since it won't be stable at all okay so we close this doing that many times from 10 to 20 megahertz each test you have to test it as long as possible I managed to get to 200 megahertz more here and 400 megahertz more here after you do all this you just click apply and if you are satisfied with your overclock like I have you can just check this box right here, this circle, apply overclocking at system startup so you don't have to go to I mean open this program again in order to get the overclock done it will just be applied when you start the system if you mess something up you can just press reset this one right here and the card will be going back to stock space and nothing will be damaged just don't go crazy and crank it up like this without testing it 10 MHz or 20 at a time because you can pretty much destroy your card and we don't want that we want stable overclocks and that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and I see you next time